All right, guys, let's get going. 28% gains on the day, $1.44 for XRP. What next? What do we need to be thinking about? The political landscape is favorable for the utility assets. It's insane that we, well, it's not insane. We knew. We, our portfolio, if you're in my group, we're rocking. Like this portfolio is absolutely designed for the era we're in right now. Um, I think the majority of the market that focuses a lot on these hype cycle narratives are going to be left confused in the future of the market as we move into, into more of a fundamental use case market. Okay, that's the, that's the real narrative we're moving into. All right, let's get into this video today. Uh, I've been missing for a few days. I had a death in the family. Um, it was good to see distant relatives uh thank you dearly to everyone who sent their condolences in the group we had a few new members join really fast i do want to make an announcement for all the new members uh, that joined the group um, if you are in the school classroom right here uh start off the mission and roadmap um we're about to start filling up the blockchain basis but the DeFi academy tab is filled up with all of these videos, how to open the wallet, how to enter and exit the automated market makers, stable coin correlated pairs, seasonal daily rewards, staking for passive income, education on the XRPL AMMs, making markets on chain, on chain finance, and the making markets mindset. We're gonna be continuing to add videos to these sections. As you know, I have two separate groups. They are the same exact content in each group. What happened is, is the original platform which is mighty networks right here uh a lot of people weren't able to get in and so i had to create two groups but it's all good it solved the problem uh let's get into today's video bank xrp november 20 or november 21 this is from reuters a slew of crypto companies including ripple kraken and circle are joining for a seat on the president-elect donald trump's promise crypto advisory council look november 21st is very very recent obviously ripple is going to have a, a seat at the board obviously circle more than likely coinbase as well uh, these were the donators right they were donating tons of capital during this election cycle as you see here uh they're joining for a seat on president-elect donald trump's promised crypto advisory council seeking a say in his planned overhaul of u.s policy and this is going to be very heavily stablecoin focused right stable coins are the buffer to incoming debt being offloaded due to uh the dollars or not the dollar but the united states being downgraded time and time again in their credit rating uh for their treasury so the stable coins are going to come in they're going to play a buffer and i think over time as the global financial uh, markets start to see that stable coins are a very, very killer use case for cryptocurrency, right? Tokenization of fiat currency, tokenization of debt on chain that you can actually make markets very efficient with these stable coins on chain, right? And then obviously the gas tokens that of the chains that get adopted for this global transactional system are going to be very very valuable your xrps etc so that's very very bullish to see this today archax excited to announce the addition of state street fidelity and lgim to uh, the range of funds available on our tokenized real world asset platform these are going to be tokenized on the xrp ledger hedera and arbitrum this is very fascinating to see from archax we know they've made some bold predictions in the past we're going to see how this plays out with our checks as they are becoming a leader in uh, the tokenization uh, race right as a company that provides tokenization for the financial institutions they've done blackrock now state street now fidelity lgim uh, ripple being the one-stop shop the xrp ledger being a perfect place to bring assets on the chain for trading right and then in the near future we're going to have that domino effect of DeFi protocols, DeFi primitives for these RWAs 
to get more money off of, right? Because it's one thing bringing the asset on chain, being able to trade it, making the market efficient, making it cheaper. But if you're able to get a loan on that RWA or you're able to pull that RWA into a automated market maker, lending and borrowing protocols, you're able to get a line of credit through Ripple. Uh, that is the really uh, uh, the attraction to DeFi for these financial institutions because you can do more with it than you could do traditionally, right? That is the incentive to bring them on chain, all right? Because essentially saving money, massive. Obviously, when we got the news that Fidelity, not Fidelity, I'm sorry, um, Franklin Templeton recently talking about moving like $500 million on chain and literally it only costing them $120. <laughs> saving millions right moving billions okay this is real uh and it is happening now and as you see everything we've been talking about for the past year on this channel is happening now uh congratulations to everybody especially my group members you guys have seen the insides of my portfolio you've seen the insides of how i think about this market so i know you guys understand we are on the absolute right track uh, so very beautiful to see this. Wisdom Tree, we're excited to announce the Wisdom Tree physical XRP ETB now listed on the Bourse Extra Swi uh, 6 Swiss Exchange in the Euronext Paris and Amsterdam. Wisdom Tree physical XRP ET uh, uh, ETP offers a simple, secure, low cost way to gain exposure to XRP. Ladies and gentlemen, it is as if these guys took a peep into our portfolio and decided, you know what, the, this, this Devilbus Capital Group, let's just tokenize and bring uh, uh, ETPs and ETFs and trust funds for every single asset these guys are invested in. I, I'm just joking, guys. You know, our vision for building our portfolios, as you see in the uh, classroom section in the school community, we have the portfolio building tab here. This is what we talk about in here. The overall strategy, if you're interested, watch my strategy, Andrew's strategy right here. You'll see that we, our strategy has been always to front run the institutions to see which cryptocurrencies they're going to be buying and holding for the long term. Not just for ETFs, but which ones are they going to buy and hold in a wallet because they're going to be utilizing the blockchain. All right. XRP, Hedera, uh, Chainlink axelar just to name a few if you're interested in this it's all right here and you can see my entire portfolio in andrew's portfolio tab i'm going to be talking about where i'm exiting the market this bull run I'm going to be talking about rolling back over into stablecoin DeFi, strictly stablecoin DeFi. i'm super enthused about foreign exchange markets being brought on chain right stable coins on chain are giving us an opportunity to make tons of yield from these high frequency tradings and these payments and these transactions happening on these blockchains through automated market making, right? And I'm gonna show you an example now. I just posted this to my group earlier. Thank you for everyone for your well wishes. It was a good time to see distant family, right? We're talking about, you know, what happened with my family. Uh, but now on to crypto, let's get rocking. Our portfolios are killing it. Also, I just added money into USDC, USDC, HTS on Hedera, 43% APY on dollars, on dollar stable coins, right? USDC, Hedera, uh, Hedera token services. This is the native USDC on the Hedera network, right? This USDC just means a dollar, okay? It's just a dollar. The other USDC is bridged USDC. So it's bridged over from other chains people moving their liquidity over from other chains, right? Um, and I'm providing liquidity for it. Uh, we got money in this one and in this one, an even amount. If you're not familiar with DeFi, what we're doing here is we're providing stable coins for the market to trade and we are getting 43% APR, which is annual percentage returns on our dollars, right? That means you put in $10,000 in this, you're getting $4,300 over 12 months span and you're getting paid daily right this is the beauty of hedera DeFi. i absolutely love hedera DeFi. hedera is a part of the institutional 
adoption narrative. Let me show you why. Check this out. <clears throat> Hedera, GC members, Bitco, and Dell discuss the importance of fixed fees on the Hedera network for large-scale enterprise use cases. If you didn't know, Hedera has the ability, uh, the way their fixed fees work is it transacts, uh, it's evaluated through the dollar, right? So if you, I'm going to let this gentleman here explain it, but in my mind, when I read this, when I learned about this, I was like, oh yeah, that's obvious. That's a massive uh, boon for institutions as they onboard, as they get educated, right? Like at first you might not understand that these cryptocurrencies are the new oil for these new markets, right? These are this, these blockchains are market infrastructure. This is the lubricant that is going to make them run better is the tokens themselves. So check this out right here. Or underscore something. Hang on. Let me turn my volume over to my headphones. All right, Greg said is, or to underscore something Greg said is, the fees for HBAR are denominated in dollars. I'm going to repeat that, denominated dollars and fixed. So if any of you have tried to transact on Ethereum or Bitcoin, you know that the, the transaction fees or the gas fees can vary wildly based on network congestion. If you're running a business or you're running a high throughput, high transaction um, service, that's really difficult to deal with. You don't know how much your business is going to cost you to run day by day. So one of the unique things about Hedera that we're seeing um, being adopted by use cases like stable coins or CDBCs that are going to be high throughput um, is being powered or enabled by the fact that your transaction costs are fixed and they're low. And that is, a, that is a, uh, certainly a characteristic of uh, the governance model and the decisions that were put forth. Uh, all right, so <clears throat> that to me was an absolute um, genius move by the Hedera team, the devs on Hedera making that a fixed fee, right? <clears throat> That's awesome. So dude, look, things are bullish, guys. Things are bullish. If you're in the group, um, I'm gonna be loading content up today, tomorrow, the next day. XRP gonna continue to climb. Uh, Hedera gonna continue to climb. This is just getting started. Look, we're up 30% now. Um, <clears throat> guys, look, we have uh, a super cycle at hand. Now more than ever, you have to think critically, what money do I actually need to take profit this year? Because if you don't need to take profit this year, um, you know, you have to really think over this next six years. This is the exponential phase of adoption. These cryptocurrencies, specifically the real world infrastructure blockchains that are going to be adopted right not just hype cycle stuff not just meme coins right that they go up and then they come back down we're talking about the ones that are going to go up and remain up like google stock like amazon stock because they're getting adopted globally for this new internet of value Right. And so that's what I talk about in the portfolio building tab. OK, if you are a new, if you're a beginner, if you're median, even to expert level, this group is designed for you. Right. We have all of this DeFi Academy portfolio building. I'm showing you my portfolio, DeFi and trading in depth. We have study sessions where we're going over high level institutional documentation and et cetera. Right. So let's get to it. Uh, now's the time. Uh, look, 43% on stable coins. <laughs> I mean, how does it get any better than that? How does it get any better than that? On an institutional grade, enterprise grade blockchain like Hedera. On an institutional grade blockchain like the XRP Ledger. It doesn't get any better. 43%. This is just the beginning. I showed you guys from the other day, not just 43%. Check this one out. Here's 100%. 109% on euro to US dollar. This is foreign exchange stablecoin market making. All right. The stable coins are in high demand. 
There's volume on the ledgers. You're going to be getting paid fees. $13,000 in fees paid out in one day. You can get a piece of that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's get this bull run going and let's get pumped up. Everything is different now. Everything. Society is changing. The culture shift is happening. The mindset of the people is changing. We have to be able to surf whatever wave we are in position for, okay? Life is full of waves. It's going to be different on the next go around. It's going to be different after that. The only thing constant is change. And we are going to profit off that change. And we're going to be a part of the change. And we're going to use our profit making abilities to do the things we want to do. We want to see in the world. Like I have this thing of wanting like I live about an hour from the beach. I have this thing where I want to volunteer time to go help with the uh, sea turtle nest and help the sea turtle habitats as they hatch and go into the ocean. I can be down there doing the sea turtles, knowing that I just took, you know, $150,000, $200,000 in profit and I have it in euro and US dollar stablecoin making 100000 a year because of the APR or on the Hedera network. I can be down there helping those turtles, knowing that I'm making money, I'm helping people, and I'm doing what I'm called to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys on the next one.